Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Titus 2.13. It says, We wait for the blessed hope of the glorious appearing of our greatest Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's getting to be that season. Um, yeah. So, all right, where to begin? Let's see. So, I had the craft show. Eh, it went okay. Not, not an overwhelming success. Okay. Sold a few things. Wasn't a bomb, but, you know, not exactly my cup of tea. So, uh, and there's not just one thing that sold it. I could say, oh yes, that item. If I had a dime for every time I heard, if I had, if you had this in this color, that's my favorite color. I'd get it. That's why I do consignment. It's because I never know what people are going to want, what people are going to buy, um, and how it's going to go. So I make it a point to crochet in the perfect color for them and in the perfect, you know, and that way I don't end up with a lot of stuff that I don't need or want or holding on to for a while. So I really think that my consignment is what I need to stick to. Um, I'm going to go and check out a different avenue maybe um, and see about if I can get some orders that way. Uh, we'll see. Uh, projects that I have going on. Um, I literally have the neck band to do in this one. I have to hem the sleeves and the bottom and put the neck band in this one. And these are two, um, matching pajama tops for some ladies. And then I am done with Christmas, except for, uh, Thanksgiving when RJ comes down. He is going to stay a little bit longer and him and I, um, are going to go and do the candy shopping because we're actually having Thanksgiving this Saturday after Thanksgiving. So we're going to go and do the Christmas candy and fill those beautiful stockings that I made um, for everybody. Last year he didn't have any money, so he helped me with that, and that was his contribution to um, Christmas. And so he's going to do it again. <laughs> Not that he doesn't have any money, it's just now he's saving for um, a marriage. So, uh, I do have three and I've got one. So <clears throat> this is a mindless knit. If dog will stay off of my, uh, yarn. So I am making one of the sleeves, sleeved scarves. I have both sleeves are done. I'm just doing the main body of it. So I have my other sleeve here, and like I said, this is just the main body, and I've gotten quite a bit done on the main body, but mm, maybe half, yeah, not at all, anywhere where it needs to be, but it's getting there, so, and it would help if Worm didn't jump on my yarn. This one is still usable, okay? <laughs> Or so I say, it's still usable. Um, yeah, so this one is still usable. The other one, because I'm doing two strands at a time, I had to put in a ball. Because he's a big dummy. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is he's a big dummy. Um, he likes to jump on it, and he likes to try and make a bed out of it. And... Yeah, so and when I had it laying there, you know, and I am making this thicker, I want it to go to be thick to more like use as a jacket than a shirt. So, anyway, I'm making that one, and then I have two that I've decided I want to get done. One, I, I'm sick of it being in timeout, and I want to get it done. And oh, there's a gnat, I cannot believe there is a gnat. There's still a net in here. Um, one, I am pulling out a timeout and I want to get it done. Okay, and that is the um, purse. 
um, that one, the reversible purse. So I have pulled it out of timeout. I am literally not going to count the stitches. I am going to make it match. Um, I'm going to quit trying to read the pattern. And because I need it to match, I am literally going to make it match as I go down. Now, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I've come up with my own way because this one is still short. Okay, so I'm literally going to crochet the two together. I am going to attach my yarn right here. And I am going to crochet the blue along this so that all I have to do is fold this side. Um, and then I will just go along down and when I hit the end, then I will go back and forth. So it will be blue on top and gray on the bottom. Then I will fold them in half and stitch them to the purse, put it all together because this is all I have left to do. And if the pattern isn't working out, I'm going to make my own way and get it done and out of this bag because honestly, I'm ready to have it done. Um, it's been in timeout long enough and I'm just going to do, you know, because it says do two of them and then you sew them together anyway. So it is what it is. The other one that I am going to take out of timeout um, is the wavy pattern one. And basically, I haven't gotten very far on it. I have all this yarn to do. <laughs> I have, um, this one is halfway. And if you remember, it's going to go, it's going to be a V and a V. Yeah. So, um, it is halfway done. And then we will go from there. But I haven't even pick this one up. This one, this one's not really in timeout. Um, it's just kind of here. I do have an issue with finding the hook. I can't find the hook that I did. I looked last night and, ah, and looky there. But I think that one's too big. I really do. I think that one might be too big, but we'll see. I don't know if that's, I think that one's too big, but anyway, I'll have to find the right hook to do it because yeah anyway we will see and that one I just need to get back to working on that one it hasn't been in time out or anything I just haven't had any time and I haven't split my time very well part of it is that is not a mindless knit it is one that I have to pay attention to because each stitch is a different stitch so I mean it's and if you get off one, it shows. So, but anyway, so those are the three. Um, I am going to finish that. Uh, got my hair. I'm going to finish that uh, purse. I want to get it done and out, and that's what I'm going to start working on now. Um, then I'm going to go to this one in the evenings when I'm doing stuff and then I'm going to get that other one off of there and hopefully that's going to happen. I don't have any sewing projects right now that I am working on. Christmas is done. Everything's done. Uh, I do, I still have the red and white striped shirt to get done. I just have to hem it, do the neckline and the sleeve. No, I don't have the neckline to do. The neckline's done. I just have to hem the sleeves and the uh, bottom. So, yeah. Um, I'm honestly thinking that I'm just going to force myself to do it this weekend because I don't have any sewing to do. I have nothing going on. Um, the only thing I have to do is take Warren to get his front nails clipped again. And that's it. I'm done. 
So, yeah. It's, I have all weekend, no projects planned, nothing I have to get done. I do have to uh, get those. I got um, to order two things just because I can't make them. Um, I have two, one super small um, things for Mace, yeah, and then one's an, an actually decent friend for Macy, and one is for uh, Tori's other half, Brad. Neither item is specifically a Christmas item, so I can order them off of Amazon anytime. But anyway, so I just have those few things to do. Uh, the roommates, of course, is already here. RJ is hiding it out at the farm. And yeah. I, I'm actually ready for Christmas. I have taken off uh, the fourth, no, the the first Friday, the next Monday and Tuesday. So I think it's like the second, third, fourth. I'm just gonna look. Um, I know I go back the the sixth is the day that I go back. Um, I am off up until uh, Saint Nicholas Catholic. So I am, oops, I'm off the first, the second and third are a weekend, and then I'm off the fourth and the fifth of December. So um, I'm taking a few days each month um, just because, and I, I might do that next year too. I have vacation time, but nothing really to use it with. Um, day-to-day -day time I have that I just collect, you know, it's kind of liked. If you don't use it during the year, it's saved, and that way if anything happens and you have to take off for uh, a medical reason or something, um, one of the ladies took off when she adopted her children and took off a month to uh, just adjust. So, um, she used her day-to-day -day time for that. So, anyway, really, there's not a whole lot going on. RJ is riding horses, and because winter's starting, you know, the, the rodeo circuits are pretty much over with. Um, yeah, so, he's just kind of riding horses and training horses, and I'm just working, and then doing stuff here, uh, and I'm not even doing stuff to the house, and like I said, I have no sewing to do other than this, and then, um, I've been thinking that I'm going to start making, instead of making simple clothes, I want to design clothes that I see in my head. Kind of scared to try it, I haven't ever tried, I've always kept it simple. I need to master collars more. Um, I fight with those a lot, rip out a lot, um, I guess I just need to cut them and then practice pinning them kind of thing until I get them perfect and then sewing them, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, it really is inexpensive to sew clothes as a hobby as opposed to purchasing clothes, okay? It's not inexpensive if you're just doing it as a hobby, but it is, compared to the cost of clothing, it's more affordable. Does that make sense? So, I can go and buy, oh, I think it takes me two and a half yards of material. And I have enough for a skirt and a jacket out of it. And two and a half yards at $10 a yard is 20 bucks for a skirt and a jacket. It is pretty costly for a jacket nowadays. The ones I saw were $69.99 and $89.99 and $129.99. So 
depending on what material I get, I could actually do some really nice ones, you know. But I'm trying to graduate from the simple clothing to the complicated without a pattern. I can do it with a pattern. All hands down, you know, just lay it out, cut it, sew it together, and it's perfect. It's the without a pattern thing. It's from the clothes that I have. I like this collar and I don't like these arms and, you know, that kind of thing. And patterns are expensive. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to go. Joann's has a better selection of fabrics. And I am going to get some material like a stretch knit or whatever. I want to make me a fancy jacket. I want to make, you know, like Dolly Parton's coat of many colors, something that her mom put hard work and soul into. I'm not going to make it from scraps, okay? That's not what I mean. But what I mean is every stitch meaning something. I'm going to put it on that mannequin and I'm going to design it. I'm not going to start with a simple box, which is how I start. All of my shirts, they're all boxes, and then I, I don't know, what kind of color do I want? And I just put it in there, and what kind of sleeves do I want? Do I want short puffy? Do I want long? And I very rarely do long because I don't really like long. I, three quarters is about as long as I go. So I either put short sleeves in them or sh just leave them straight and hem them. I can make my own clothes, and I won't go naked, but they're all, they are all pretty simple patterns, um, for lack of any other word. But I think it's time for me to advance, and especially now that I've got the serger, I see lots of things in my head that I could do. I just need to attempt them, you know? Either I'm going to be a seamstress or I'm not, and either I'm going to make my clothes or I'm not. So it is time for me to get on my big girl panties and maybe try some more um, difficult things on my sewing machines. So um, first I got to get Christmas done and I got this done. I know. I just made excuses. It, and then I got to get to Joanne's. Um, so uh, it won't, it probably won't happen this week. The, first, the reason I'm saying that is I have that Monday and Tuesday off the first week in December, and so I'm going to go to Joanne's that week, so I will already have Christmas done, the stockings done, um, I will have the food gathered, so pretty much I won't need to, uh, my budget is done, I've already spent what I'm going to spend, and Christmas is under control, because it's already paid for, so anyway, all right, I'm going to get off of here. i got to get ready for work, and I know it's not a very long one, but I'm getting back on track, and like I said, if I do start a more difficult product, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, but here's the thing is even if I screw it up, so what? It's not like it's for someone else. It's for me. It is, you know, something me learning. So it ends up in the trash. It, worst case scenario, it ends up in the trash. But if I got the, the experience from it, I'm good. Move on to the next thing. So, yeah, that's where I'm going with that. Um, I like making bags. Just I'm not going to make them unless I have a specific person in mind for them. I'm not going to, you know, go crazy. But I love making them. All right, I'm off of here. I hope you guys have a great week, and thanks for watching, and be safe. Bye.